Hi everyone, welcome to another video on GitHub Actions. So far, we understood what are GitHub workflows, how to run a workflow manually, and how to disable a workflow temporarily when it's not in use. And I believe this is a good time to understand how to schedule a workflow. Understanding how to schedule workflows efficiently can save you time and effort. So let's get started. We use cron expressions to schedule a workflow. What's a cron? Cron stands for command run on notice. It's a tool that lets you set up scripts or commands to run automatically at specific times or on regular schedule. Cron expressions are strings that represent the schedule for a task. They consist of five fields representing different time intervals. The first star represents the minute. Its value ranges from 0 to 59. Then we have R, whose value is between 0 and 23. The third star represents the day of the month. It's first of the month to the 31st. Then comes the month itself. We have 12 months, so its value is between 1 and 12. The last star represents the day of the week. We have seven days a week and it starts with a Sunday. Sunday is represented by a zero, so the values range from zero to six. Let's see how to use cron in a workflow. As we have already learned, we use on to specify events. In case of scheduling an event, the event type is schedule. Then we have hyphen cron property where we specify the cron expression. All stars represent that the job runs every minute, but GitHub Actions impose a minimum interval of five minutes for scheduled workflows. This means you cannot run workflows more frequently than every five minutes. Let's see some of the examples. Zero, zero, triple star represents that the job runs every 12 a.m. UTC, every day. Five followed by all stars represents every fifth minute of the hour. For example, 12, 5 a.m., 1, 5 a.m., like that. Whereas star slash five means it runs every five minutes, like 12, 5 a.m., 12, 10 a.m., 12, 15 a.m., and this continues indefinitely. We can provide multiple values using a comma. 30, 5, star, star, 1, comma, 3. This represents 5.30 a.m. UTC time every Monday and Wednesday. One represents Monday, 3 represents Wednesday. We can run a workflow in multiple schedules by specifying multiple cron expressions. Here we have two cron expressions. The first one allows the workflow to run at 5.30 a.m. UTC time every Monday and Wednesday. The second cron expression allows the workflow to run at 5.30 a.m. UTC time every Tuesday and Thursday. Combining these two expressions, the workflow will run on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday at 5.30 a.m. UTC time. I'll show the scheduled workflow example in the repository. This is the same repository that we have been using to learn GitHub Actions. So I have created a new workflow called schedule.yml in GitHub Workflows folder. If I open this, this looks very similar to all other workflows. I named this as scheduled workflow. I have an event under on section. The first event is workflow underscore dispatch. The second event is schedule. And yes, we can have multiple events for a single workflow. This is to trigger the workflow manually. The other event is schedule. I want this workflow to run on a schedule every 10 minutes. This is the cron expression to run this workflow every 10 minutes. And remember, star slash 10 is to run the workflow every 10 minutes. If you specify only 10 in place of minutes, then it will run on the 10th minute of every hour. Then we have jobs. We have only one job called demo. It runs on Ubuntu latest. 
then we have steps we have only one step to log the current date and time let me edit this file I want to show something so if I hover on this cron expression it gives us the description of what this expression does so this runs our workflow every 10 minutes now if I update this to maybe uh, 6 and hover on it runs every 10 minutes only on Saturday because 6 represents Saturday if I make it 0 then it's uh, only on Sunday and if I put some value here now it runs every 10 minutes on third day of the month and on Sunday so this is how you can validate your cron expression let me cancel the changes I just want this workflow to trigger every 10 minutes if I go to actions tab and scheduled workflow these are all the runs that have been running every 10 minutes so if you look at this uh, this workflow uh, ran one hour ago this workflow ran 24 minutes ago 15 minutes ago you can see that the difference is almost 10 minutes so this is how a scheduled workflow runs after four minutes we'll see another scheduled workflow so when i first created the scheduled workflow it did not trigger no matter how much time i waited it did not trigger so if you also face such issue make sure to add workflow underscore dispatch event and run this workflow at least once then you can remove the manual event if you want to so after triggering the workflow at least once manually it will start triggering again and the other issue that I noticed is I see inconsistencies like if you look at this workflow workflow 10 and workflow 11 workflow 10 ran one hour ago workflow 11 ran 25 minutes ago these two workflows have almost 30 minutes difference so this is one of the inconsistencies that I noticed maybe this is a frequently scheduled job so it was stuck for a uh, one run maybe but this is the issue that I noticed. So, yep, this is all about scheduled workflow. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the content, please like, share and subscribe to Interview Pro. Thank you.